feels good. Not, it's actually not too, not too cold actually. It's not too cold. It's, you know, it's like the three bears just right, you know. Whoo. Oh man, I could actually almost do this whole video with just me in the water with you guys staring at the lake. I mean, I have thought about doing that before, but uh, I'm pretty sure you guys want the cameras to be facing the tower. So that's exactly what I will do. One moment. Happy Saturday, folks. Ugh. Oh, dear. If you couldn't already tell, it rained a lot last night. In fact, it's kind of starting to rain now a little bit. I, I could already feel like tiny water droplets falling on me as I was preparing to get this video started. But good news is it's not raining now and I have a lot to talk about today oh, holy cow do I have some things to say right now because you know I'll just say this technically my low would be the fact that I lost sleep last night but not for a bad reason Although losing sleep is never necessarily a good thing, so that's why I'll just say it's my low. Basically, it's a low on technicality. However, again, it wasn't for a bad reason. Oh, by the way, got out my, uh, my Pride towel. Show support for the Pride community, which Pride Month is almost over. Yeah, this is the second to last day of Pride Month, which... Uh, you know, for those of you who celebrate Pride Month, I hope it's been a fantastic month for you so far. That's awesome. And, uh, right here. There we go. Oh, actually, I almost forgot. I get my bling on. I always gotta make sure it doesn't there's no like twist turns or tangles in this thing. Perfect. Ah just uh give me one moment. So just one more floorboard. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, well, my hair actually look not, looks not bad after that. So, let's see. My low is obviously the fact that I lost sleep last night. And the fact that technically right now I'm getting rained on. Like, it's just starting to lightly sprinkle right now. I'm actually kind of worried about my phone at the moment. Eh, but that's okay. I fight the elements for you. My high was everything that happened last night, specifically regarding the dinner I had. And my act of kindness was the instant I got up here, blew off the, blew off the back deck and the front deck, and I vacuumed. So, uh, those are my acts of kindness. So, let me, uh... Let's talk about last night. Now, no kidding, Cousins Maine Lobster, yeah, that lobster truck place that was uh, featured on Shark Tank was actually at Sabin Brewing Company. I went last night just to check it out. Plus, there was this really good uh, jazz band called uh, And and the Fur Trappers that were there. They were really good. Like, really good. I highly recommend you listen to those guys. Actually, uh, guys, and yeah, the lead singer is a woman. I don't care. They were really, really good. But I got there, and, uh, well, the good news is, I mean, listen, the view at Saban Brewing can't be beat. I mean, personally, I always thought Bully Hill had the best view up here. But Saban Brewing, not a bad view at all. Um, but 
I get there and good news. There was literally about bare minimum a half hour wait to order food from the food truck because of the main lobster. It'd be another 15 minutes until your food was probably ready. And if you want a drink, like a beer or wine or whatever, you gotta wait another 15 minutes for that. Oh, and another five minutes if you have to use the bathroom. That's all bare minimum, by the way. So, I mean, I'm glad I at least went. You know, got me out and about, gave me something different to do. But I knew what my original plan was, because I've been putting... What I did last night, I put off long enough. I had actually been waiting... Of all the places on Kiko Lake I've been wanting to go back to, I really have gone to a lot of them so far. I've actually banged out, like... I, like, seriously, only, like, the really hard places to find time to go to are the only ones I haven't gone to yet. Everything else I've pretty much done, which is good for me. But... The place that, um... I was looking forward to most was Lakeside Restaurant and Tavern. Now, I've talked at nauseam about this place many times. Specifically how it was one of my grandfather's old haunts. Rest in power, Bobo. You're not making it rain, are you? Eh. So... <laughs> Yeah, it'd be funny. We talk about one of his old haunts. He's probably making it rain. Oh, maybe that was him. That, that was like, I literally saw the sun shining behind me. Or like the sun like kind of part through the clouds a little bit. Maybe that was him. Holy cow. That'd be so cool. Focus. Um. Oh, never mind. It's just the, just the, just the camera. Okay. That, that was, it, it looked, it looked weird on camera. I feel embarrassment right now. But anyway, focus. So I go there and I wanted to sit outside because full disclosure, I could literally see Lakeside. I can see Lakeside from here. Like if I were to turn around right now, I could literally see where it is. And you know, I kind of want to get the experience of seeing like, I could see my house from here. So I literally made sure I sat outside at a place where I could see my cottage, which interestingly enough, I was able to sit outside but I had to wait at the bar, right? I want to wait at the bar for a table. Where I was sitting, I could turn around. I could still see where my cottage was. Like there was like an op it was like an open door, and I could actually see where it was. It was hilarious. More importantly, though, um, I was actually hold on a second. Let me just move it back just a little bit. There we go. So, um, I got to Lakeside and I actually ran to one of my grandfather's old friends. And he actually told me how my grandfather, along with a bunch of his guy friends, would just, you know, go to Lakeside, eat, drink, be merry, and raise hell. Which... There's something about that I want to get into, but I'll do that after I talk about my meal. Now, I get there, and I knew I wanted the pig wings and the crooked blue wings. They're not serving the pig wings. I got there, and they weren't serving them. Heavy loss. Not a critical one. Plus, I was able to, plus, without getting the pig wings, I was able to enjoy a nice bowl of the, um, the, uh, shrimp and corn chowder, which is very good. Plus, I was able to get the crooked blue wings, and it's very difficult to describe just how good these wings are. Like, you gotta just try them and see. They are among the best wings I've ever had in my life. Right up there with the likes of Elbow Room and Harry's. But, believe it or not, the real reason... <laughs> that was the wind, sorry. But believe it or not, the real reason why I wanted to go back was because I needed to validate my parking on something. Because I tried the fish fry last time I was there a year ago. Just to, I mean, you can't have dinner on wings alone, right? And perhaps it was in the moment, but I thought that was the best fish fry I ever had. 
So I'm thinking, okay, lightning struck. Surely you can't strike twice, right? Folks, I've had fish fry, really good fish fry, from a lot of good places. The Valley Inn, Nick's Pub and Grill, Main Deck in Penyan. They're all some of the best I've ever had, and I highly recommend them. Lakeside is the best fish fry I've ever, I've ever had in my entire life. And good God, did, did, it prove, did it prove so. Oh, my God. Like, I can barely think of words to describe, like, how good the fish is. I mean, the beer batter that was on it was, like, hot and crisp. And the, fi and the haddock itself, because that was the fish where it was a haddock. Like, the fish was hot, tender, flaky, moist. Like, I'm, it boggles my mind just how overall simple this fish is. Yet, it's the best I've ever had in my life. I mean, listen, anyone, I don't know what they do over at Lakeside to make it as good as it is, but good God, like... I'd go back there again right now if I was able to. Sadly, I'm not able to, but perhaps someday I will. I mean, my God. How do you... I can... I can't even think of words to describe how good this is. Like, here's the thing. I told uh, my waitress that my grandfather would go to Lakeside a lot, specifically on Fridays, believe it or not. I didn't know it was Friday. I knew he went there a lot. I just know it was Friday. And she said, I'm sh I'll be sure to tell my manager that. Like, tell him that, you know, the grandson came. He'll know exactly who it is. He'll, he'll know. Um, so I told my waitress that I would tell everybody about going to Lakeside, which is what I'm doing right now. That fish was so good, I lost sleep over it, wondering just how good it was. That fish was so good, I almost forgot about everything else, including the wings. And I love the crooked blue wings are some of the best wings I've ever had in my life. The only thing that's keeping me from saying that fish fry is the best seafood-related anything I've ever had. And for that matter, only one other place has ever made me lose sleep over how good the food is was that there's a certain place in the city of Elmira, New York, on the corner of 5th and Hatch, that would say, well, have something to say about that. But if anyone is looking for a fish fry, I mean a real good fish fry, go to Lakeside. Like, like spread the word, share this video. Like, go to Lakeside yourself. Do all of the above. Go to Lakeside. This is, like, this is not a suggestion. This is a prescription, okay? I wonder if, <laughs> I just realized it stopped raining. Thank you, Bobo. Thank you. Holy cow, I think, I think my grandfather made it stop raining. Holy cow. Because I'm talking about his old haunt in such a glowing way. Holy cow. I think he's on my side. I mean, he's my grandfather and he loves me, so of course he'd be on my side. But he's on my side. He, he, he made it stop raining. I'm convinced he made it stop raining right now. Holy cow. Okay. Um, what is there to say else? I mean, that fish fry was just so good. Like, my mom is a fish fry snob. Like, a sn like, actually, I shouldn't just talk about the fish. I mean, the fries, hot and crispy, perfectly good fries. They so like shoestring cut, but, but much, much, much better than shoestring cut. The coleslaw was, like, sweet and fresh and, you know, perfect tartar sauce. Wonderful. Everything about that meal at Lakeside was just, it was everything I wanted it to be and so much more. 
I mean, again, only one of the places has ever really been able to make me talk like this. From a certain place on the corner of Fifth and Hatch in Elmira, New York. If you guys know, you know. Before you say anything, no, I don't think Lakeside is better than that place. I'm trying not to say the name of that place. Because if I do, I'm really going to turn this into a video talking about that place. I don't want to necessarily do that. This is this video is meant to be an opportunity to give Lakeside Restaurant and Tavern its due flowers, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Although, if any of you guys are wondering, I would have to say about a dozen restaurants, including Lakeside, would have to come together to get something as good as that place in the city of Elmira, New York, on the corner of Fifth and Hatch. Although I will say Lakeside is one of them. That's all I'm going to say. This is my, this video is meant to give Lakeside its flowers, which is what I'm doing here. Like, I've said this before, I'll say it again. There are certain things that happen in life that, like, you know, they're good, but, you know, you're not going to remember them later. Like, like, in the moment, they're great. But, you know, give it about a couple of days, even a few weeks or so. You're not necessarily going to remember it. I'm going to remember the meal I had at Lakeside for a day, a week, a month, and a year. No, enough said. I hope I like this video. Oh, hold on. You can actually see Lakeside over yonder. I hope you all like this video. For oh, actually, hold on. It, uh... You know what, I'm sure a few... I'm sure a few of you guys are probably concerned with the fact that it's pretty cloudy up here. I love this weather. I love it when the weather's like this. Very somber. Very peaceful. And considering how much I was just yelling about how good the meal at Lakeside over there was, I probably disturbed the peace a little bit. Sorry. I hope you like this video, like, subscribe to YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I'm very homemade. This video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy for the Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Saturday. And remember, if you guys want to talk to me, always be here to lend me. Always be back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby. Seriously. Go. Go to Lakeside. That is, a, that, again, not a suggestion. It's a prescription. Take care.